Hello everybody, welcome back to another blacksmith question of the day. So this is episode two of season two, blacksmith question of the day. If you haven't checked out episode one, it was a larger one than usual. Go check that out and uh, show it some love with your viewership if you want to find out some good interesting information about tongs. So in this video, we are gonna be talking a little bit about anvils, and I'm gonna be answering some questions on the Harbor Freight anvil. The, and this, all these questions are coming in off of the Harbor Freight 55 pound anvil, how much does it suck video. If you haven't seen that one, definitely go check it out. It'll be linked up as well as the tong video in the description down below and at the end of this video. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it, shall we? First question comes in from Joey's 48 and he asked, could attach a hardened steel plate on the top surface? Now, I think he was making a statement of could, you know, you could attach a hardened plate surface, but it comes up regularly in this comment section. So it's a good place to land on. Yes, you could weld on a hardened steel plate top to a cast iron body and it will help somewhat in the mainly in the surface wear department of the cast iron anvil it will help out in that department as far as the rest of the anvil or the quality of the anvil it's not really going to escape its manufactured qualities so whatever uh, you know if it's brittle if it's a brittle casting or something of that nature then guess what, you're probably going to have problems with it even if you did try to take and put on or weld on a steel top. That being said, welding on a steel plate to a cast iron anvil is very tricky. And so therefore I would say a better option would be to hard face it with some hard surfacing rods. You would have a higher success rate of being able to have a go between filler material and then build up with some hard facing rod afterwards and have a much better anvil out of it that way versus taking a whole weird piece of steel and welding it on. But thank you for the question. Next one came in and this is just, this one's just funny. It's not really a question, but it was white night cat. Gotta love this person. Lost interest after a solid five minutes of blather and silly laughter. So, <laughs> well, there you go. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> oh, all right, let's move on here. The real Bigfoot asked, is that a green screen or do you have a medieval looking dungeon <laughs> in the background there? Um, and no, I've just got a medieval looking dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> in all honesty, it's an old, it is an old dairy barn and where I filmed this at, this was in the concrete section or where they would actually milk the cows. Um, and you know, so it's got kind of like a really rough, rustic looking block interior and it's definitely pretty neat. And if I don't say so myself, although I am biased, it's pretty darn cinematic in my opinion. Next question came in from Corandi Go. Karandi, 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 had said, can you use it to make nails? So here's a perfect example use case. Yes, you can use it to make nails. You can use it to make a whole lot of things. Just by it being a cast iron anvil does not necessarily rule it out. Just because it's cheap, yes, and we all know the manufacturing quality is not the best on these anvils, you can use it to still make projects. My personal anvil, as I shared in that video, was a Harbor Freight anvil that I started on and I worked on for four solid years before I got my first real, air quotes, uh, anvil. So, you know, it, you can definitely make projects and you can get your start in blacksmithing. So don't shy away from it uh, just for that fact. Obviously, if you have a better option and you can afford a better option, go for the better option. Next question came in from, uh, I believe it's Sergeant Nas or SGT Nas. And, it, and he asked, how would it compare to using railroad rail? Now that is a tricky question to answer. A lot of people are a big fan of their railroad track rail and they say scrub the Harbor Freight thing and just use a railroad rail. Some people will say, no, get rid of the railroad rail and get a Harbor Freight anvil or go get a, a regular anvil looking thing. And I am part of the latter group, which is 
it is good for a learning or an instructional basis to have something that actually touchable, tangible, looks like an anvil. That means it has the curvatures of an anvil. It has a horn of some sort. It has a flat top. It has a near edge, a far edge. It has a heel, it has a toe. It has a hardy hole, or it has, and it also has a pritchel hole. Not all anvils have pritchel holes. Hardy, um, this particular Harbor Freight anvil did not have a pritchel hole, but it's soft cast iron, so you could drill it and put a pritchel hole of whatever size and dimension you like. But I am in that camp because when I'm teaching a student, it is oftentimes lost on you if you're trying to follow along and you, you don't have a anvil of some type that actually has straight edges, that has something that you can follow along. If I say go to the far side edge, go to the near edge, punch this over the hardy hole. If, you're, if you don't have those in your workshop, there's some things that are lost in translation when it comes to instruction. Now with that being said, holding up a rail track anvil will have a lot better surface wear resistance and probably hold up a lot longer than the Harbor Freight anvil. So you kind of just get to pick your poison on that one. But great question. Okay, so the next one, this last one, this isn't a question. Um, he does have a question mark in it, but it, <laughs> but it's great, a timestamp. You can go ahead and like up this guy's que uh, comment because I thought it was funny. It made me chuckle a lot. So in the video, Milk Dud, the shop cat, made it a guest appearance, and it came in from Barry Pittman. At 2.03, the cat's like, is this heater on? This heater isn't on. Why is the heater not on? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I, I love that one because he literally checks. You, know, you, just have, you just have to watch the video if you want to see Milton Dud. See if you can spot him at the, about the two-minute mark. Uh, he comes in. Barry Pittman, thank you for making my day with that a little bit of laughter there. So that's it for this blacksmith question of the day. I hope you all found some value in it. If you did, hit that like button, all that jazz that everybody else tells you to do. If I've earned your subscription, please do so. Uh, we'll be doing these sem somewhat similar regularly I do them in seasons and then I don't do questions of the day for a while then I come back and I'm going to do it again uh, again this is episode two season two so uh, if you want to watch the whole first season you can there'll be a playlist on that and you can go check out where I've answered a ton of other uh, questions thank you for watching this video nonetheless um, and as always God bless you and we'll catch you on the next one thank you so much for watching